Respect. Now you genuine love, respect. I treat preaching time to the genuine ones only. You know, it don't matter if you a billionaire, multi-time billionaire, a millionaire, a multi-time millionaire. You know, it, it don't matter what type of money you got in your pocket, how much weight you think you're holding today, because regardless if you don't have money or not, at the end of the day, like, love is real, love is one of a kind. You can never put a value to love. True love at that. You know, and I understand that some within true love at the end of the day, you gotta be in tune with yourself to respect yourself to understand the definition of true love. Regardless of how much money you have. You can have a lot of money and have a ugly personality within you. And I said that respectfully. You can have no money and still have an ugly personality within you. And think it's okay to disrespect somebody when you feel like it. That's not a relationship. Or to have third party conversations with other people, but you're supposed to be in tune with somebody and you allowing somebody to feel that they're unworthy of themselves or allowing someone to feel like they need to give up on themselves because you have you had malicious intentions and you and your and your intention was never pure from day one. Or you fake ass like somebody and act like you were so in tune with them the whole entire time. You was never in tune with them. You know, regardless of how much money you got in the day, it don't matter what bracket it is no more. It don't and it never did. But in your book it did. But it don't, especially with God's perception, every direction, with God's guidance at the end of the day, nah. When the real one come into your life, they can have all the money in the world at the end of the day, and I say that respectfully. They know how to respect themselves to respect someone that comes into their life. You know when their steps is ordered, God's going to send the right one into their life to value their time and honor them and respect them. With no malicious intentions, like when they throw past on their pockets or their eyesight, because you can never buy true love, and I say that respectfully. You know, having money is just a plus. Having someone to come into your life and allow you to be at peace with yourself, to be be a plus to your peace in a healthy way, that's a blessing in disguise. You know, not everybody's deserving of someone to be in their life to actually value their time nowadays, as we can see, because people like to gaslight people and all that. For what reason? It sounds real personal. But when you got God on your side and you don't got a fake gaslight that you got God in tune with you at the end of the day or God is working miracles in your life and God's allowed you to become your best self vision of yourself, you don't got to gaslight somebody and wear a mask. God's going to send the right one into your life at the right time when you least expect it. Regardless of how much money you got at the end of the day. When God saw that you've been through enough, within enough, regardless of what type of trauma you dealt with from a child point of view going into your adulthood at the end of the day, God's going to allow you to believe the love that you always believe within. To allow you to see that, you know what? I closed that toxic door for a reason. I closed, that, I closed that traumatizing door for a reason. I want you to be at peace with yourself in a healthy way. You are at peace with yourself. But I want you to be more in tune with yourself in a more healthier way. That someone can come into your life to be a balance in a healthy way. To show you at the end of the day that someone can value your time. Someone can show you that giving up on yourself was never part of the plan. Or psyching yourself out your thought process because you, you know what, I don't believe in love anymore. Nah, God is not going to allow you to believe that. Because God installed love within you. God did. And God installed someone to come into your life to value your time in a healthy way. You know, when God closed those toxic doors for a reason, them traumatizing doors for a reason. God said your steps is ordered already. Regardless of how much money you have in the world in the day. Someone can come into your life to be your peace, be your balance in a healthy way. To love you. To show you that, listen, I'm not here to control you. I'm not here to psych you out your thought process. Let alone your freedom or your pockets. No. It's bigger than that. Because God allowed me to see the bigger picture for what it was. That... Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day when the world's against you. I could be your peace and your balance in a healthy way. I could show you at the end of the day, I could be in tune with you. The same way I was in tune with you the first day I laid eyes on you. Love at first sight. You know, some people still have that, that value within them to look at somebody like, wow. That's how you make me still feel. But only it's the only difference about it, with God's guidance, it's only getting better as time to understand that with growth comes change, with change comes true understanding with self. It's understanding regards to what you're going through personally. You can still balance your own day-to-day -day life out, but you can still show up for somebody and be in a healthy relationship at the end of the day. You know, 
without having a hand problem or without having controlling issues or without manipulating somebody's thought process to allow them to believe, wait, hold on, I gotta second guess myself right now. Did you just play in my face? Nah, that ain't true love. Someone that allowing you to feel like you gotta reevaluate your thought process and, and, and then say to yourself is, I know what I heard when I just heard what I heard and they trying to play in my face. That's not what I deserve. God is not sending that into your life, no more. God's gonna send somebody into your life where you walk by faith, not by sight. And God's guiding you two to each other. And it's not a one-sided situation, it's a two-way street. Like, how are you doing? I could be at peace and your balance in a healthy way. I could show you that I'm in tune with you every single day to show you at the end of the day, I'm not here for the mind games. When you're the real one, you don't gotta wear a mask to tune into somebody at the end of the day. Third party conversations is irrelevant because I'm only in tune with you. I mean what I said that I wanna be true to you. It's the mindset for me, how someone could generally be in tune with you without having, without not having all the toxic traits within them. Someone could show up and actually mean what they say and be genuine to you and be real to you without all that toxic traits. Because God got you to the right one in the day. Them toxic doors is closed for a reason. And the real one that's coming into your life, they don't got time for the games. They don't. They've been through enough as well, too. You know, call life just like you. So they understood how to balance life out. And because they knew how to balance life out, God said, you know what? Y'all two are meant to be together. Y'all steps was already ordered when you least expected to tune into each other. Whatever crazy relationships y'all had within y'all past, that's the past. Today's a better day. Today's a new day for a reason. And God allowing you to see that you two can unite with each other and have better days and, mem and create memories within memories in that healthy way to be each other's peace and balance. To understand the definition of I could go forever with you. Some that they thought was the impossible became the possible. That true love is real with the right one that's genuinely for you in a healthy way. You know, someone understanding the assignment and it's not just one side, but understanding that being mature and having good communication skills to understand that I understand when you're not feeling well. I understand when you when you just need five minutes to yourself to reevaluate your thought process because maybe the world was against you today. It didn't have to be me bothering you. It didn't have to be me pressing negative talk of the energy on you. It didn't have to be me putting my hands on you to prove a point. Nah. It just means that you're trying to find yourself today to understand the assignment that God's going to send someone in your life that's going to allow you to balance yourself out too. That when you have a moment to yourself at the end of the day, the person that's in your life that's going to show up for you at the end of the day, they don't have to bring toxic situations within you to show you at the end of the day that you're unworthy of yourself today. To understand at the end of the day that you got to question yourself today. No. Because I'm toxic to those clothes for a reason. You know, when God shows you how to value your time and value yourself and value, you know, your worth and have self-control, have self-discipline within yourself to respect yourself, that you are a firm believer within yourself to understand that you understood the assignment within the assignment that love is real, love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuinely for you. You could be your authentic self. You don't have to hide and wear a mask not to be yourself at the end of the day. You could be yourself Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just because moments. And the person is so in tune with you in a healthy way. When that toxic energy don't mix with the healthiness, because it would never make sense. When God showed you them toxic doors was closed for a reason. That trauma was closed for a reason. When the real one coming to your life, they don't got time to play games or psychological thought parts don't have control and issues at the end of the day. When your dreams become your reality, because true love is real, true love is one of a kind with the right one that's generally for you. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely love all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you serve your respect. For the five days with no missed intentions towards you and others around you. God didn't store within you to give up on yourself or to live and fail or to be discouraged. God didn't store patience within you because God allowed you to see another day for a reason. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or immerse a person with malicious intentions. I get your thought parts on your freedom because you are worthy and you matter. Protect your energy because not everybody's your time. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day and have a safe week ahead of you and protect your energy because not everybody's having your time. Love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuinely for you. Now you genuine love, respect. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection from every direction. Protect your energy because not everybody's having your time.